What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Mountain Zee Coolai Espresso and welcome back to another Modern Warfare Remastered video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about something that may actually surprise a lot of people, may scare some people, and well, we're going to be clarifying everything you need to know here about a recent statement that Activision made regarding the legal terminology for Modern Warfare Remastered. But that said, before we get too far into it, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like ring down below if you guys are new to the channel. Maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as Infinite Warfare coming this November. But let's talk about this here with this. Recently, Activision Activision launched a brand new site called callofduty.com backslash modern warfare remastered. It's the own landing page for the remastered game and this November's technical second title. Now on that landing page there was a specific section underneath a classic remastered where it showcases the iconic scene with Captain Price as well as the promotion for the PlayStation exclusive of Modern Warfare Remastered's campaign early to PlayStation 4 users for those that pre-purchased it. But right underneath that there is a statement that says at launch Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered will contain only 10 multiplayer maps from the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. Additional multiplayer maps will be available by 1231 2016 or New Year's Eve of this year and Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game download and in parentheses it mentions game disc must be inserted to play Modern Warfare Remastered. That's where people's concern starts to come into play because well it then implies that you're going to need a physical copy for Modern Warfare Remastered. However, let's discuss it a little bit further so that it clears up the situation a little bit for anybody that has any questions here on this. As it was previously thought, because this was never mentioned before that you're going to need a physical disc for Modern Warfare Remastered, as it was thought previously, you'd be able to get an in-game code inside the box of Infinite Warfare for whatever Legacy or Legacy Pro Edition that you end up getting. That is something that we've seen previously with different items in different years of Call of Duty, such being that there was a code inside the box for the Giant if you ended up getting one of the Collector's Editions with that. You got a specific code with this that you could physically take out keep the code, redeem it, and then if you really wanted to, sell your copy of, in theory, Infinite Warfare for the coming year. That's what a lot of people were theorizing, discussing, that they were going to buy the game just for Modern Warfare Remastered and then get rid of Infinite Warfare, which, when you spend that kind of money for two games, I don't really think that it makes the logical sense here with this to just throw away one, but that's neither here nor there, that's just my personal opinion, but that was the argument, that they're going to get the game just for Modern Warfare Remastered and then either pawn off a game, sell it, or do whatever else with it. It. That was the giant argument here with this or traversely It could be something that a lot of people wanted to sell Modern Warfare Remastered to make a quick extra buck For selling the game code if it did come separately So therefore if you did have say an in-game item code like this where it was something that was on a physical piece of paper Just a code you could sell it on eBay You could sell it on Amazon wherever really you wanted to but this now seems to negate the idea of that So that this is now going to need you to have your infinite warfare disc whether or not it's just to install Stall or whether or not you're going to need it to actually have it every time That's something that I don't think is really clarified too much just yet But my personal guess would be that it's just to install which at that point Well, then it gets rid of the middleman of that code that then has the probability or possibility of getting sold or transferred elsewhere So the main purpose of this in theory is to get rid of that possibility of unlicensed sales of the codes of the game or even of the game itself here and then it makes players hold on to the game that they end up purchasing for not only the safety of the game but also the safety of the person that buys the game for fear of them getting scammed or something if they have access to a third party that would then be willing to give them a code or something similar so that said it's just going to simply take out the middleman here if you have the legacy or legacy pro edition you're going to need to just insert your disc for modern warfare and and it doesn't really change the end point of where you get to with Modern Warfare Remastered. It simply just changes the approach to getting there, if that makes any sense. But for people that are concerned about their digital editions of Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare, this has nothing to do with you. It does not affect your order at all. You're not going to need to go out and buy a disc to be able to play Modern Warfare Remastered. You're going to have everything already pre-installed and tied to your account based off of your digital download. Once you start installing things, come here this first Wednesday if you have it all paid off. And if you have digitally you'll be able to have it paid off because I don't believe you can do increments in the PlayStation Store or the Xbox market but regardless it is something that you don't have to worry about this if you have it digitally it's going to be there for you from day one and you'll be able to have both Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare and then from there you can choose which one you want to play more if you even want to play one more than the other it's possible you might want to play both but that said I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up here today ladies and gentlemen I just want to clear this up a little bit for you guys it's not necessarily changing where everything is going to end up but rather just how we get there as players and how we can access our game of Modern Warfare Remastered. And once again, digital orders are not in any way, shape, or form affected by this.
this, so there's nothing that you guys have to worry about here with this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like rating down below. It really does help the video out, and if you guys are new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing, stay up to date with everything Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare. Coming this next coming month, we got a lot of stuff coming up here, so we got some really cool stuff planned on the channel, so stick around for that. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, but thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole, I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace.